Good evening, thanks for joining us on the news at 8. Today, the 29th day in the month of July 2022. I am Grace Stokers, the Akati Force Headlines. Abia government to partner about Chamber of Commerce on the International Trade Fair. Another NSAF may consume please. AIG wants. Replicate ICNP success in 2023 general elections. PDP charges INEC. We take commercials right back with details and many more. Stay connected. The biggest bang of the season is about to go down. It's the ABN TV Service Awards 2022 at Sheraton's Hotels, Abuja. Welcome back to all the details. Abia State Government has cancelled the July monthly sanitation exercise scheduled to take place on Saturday, 30th, July 2022. ABN TV reports that this is in view of July 31st, 2022 deadline given by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for the conclusion of continuous voters registration exercise. The cancellation is to enable those that are yet to obtain their permanent voters' card to use the period to do so before the expiration of the deadline. The Secretary to the State Government, Boris Lacris, is in safety in a statement. Ibiya State Governor Kizi Bazo has assured that the administration, that his administration will partner the Aba Chamber of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture to ensure that the planned Aba International Trade Fair before the end of the year records overwhelming success, ABN TV reports. The Federal Capital Territory Administration said it has taken steps to reach security operations and collaborations with states contiguous to Abuja to cooperate in insecurity in the nation's capital. Speaking at the FCT Security Committee meeting, the FCT Commissioner of Police, Sunday Babaji, explained that with the move, security operatives in the neighboring states and the FCT would take to attack to the enclaves of the ter terrorists terrorizing their territories. The neighboring states are Niger, Nasarawa, Kaduna, Kogi, Benue, and Plateau State. The Assistant Inspector General of Police in charge of Zone 2, Lagos, and Ogun State, Adeleke Adeinka, has warned his men to be more professional and civil while dealing with members of the public to avoid a repeat of nationwide protests such as NSAS. Adeinka said another NSAS protest may lead to the end of the Nigeria Police Force. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, has charged the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to replicate the success recorded in the INEC's candidate nomination portal, ICNP, in the 2023 general elections. PDP in the state met by its National Publicity Secretary, Dabo Olugonaba, on Friday, said that the technology will ensure transparent, fast, credible polling and transmission of results. The party also commended the INEC for the ICNP technology. The Assistant Inspector General of Police, AIG of Police, Zone 6, Kama, Kamadin Kola Okunola, has disclosed that female police officer while performing his duty is not a crime, but legal and within the rights of citizens. AIG Okunola made the disclosure of the Cross River State Police Command headquarters during a familiarization visit on Thursday in Diamond Hill, Calabar. The immediate Parts Minister of State for Education, Chukwe Meka Wajuba, and a group, Incorporated Trustees of Rights for All International, have filed an originating summons before Federal High Court in Abuja, seeking an order declaring Wajuba as the attentive presidential candidate of the APC. The General Assembly of Christian Associations of Nigeria, CAN, has formally validated the electoral election of Archbishop Daniel Oko as the new president of the religious body. His recommendations by an electoral colleague set up to screen and suggest candidates for the office of a president and vice president, respectively, as presented by the blocs that have rights of nomination, was in line with the provision of the 2021 CAN constitution. As amended. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, has vowed to rescue Zampa State from terrorist gangs that have killed, adopted, and displaced thousands of people if elected president. 
Mr. Abu Bakar made his promise on Wednesday night after he met with PDP's gubernatorial candidate in Zafra State, Dal Dalawa Derry. The new president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, Archbishop Daniel Uko, says many Christians feel and have the genuine fear that there is a deliberate plan to remove Christian faith from the scheme of things and make them second-class citizens in Nigeria. He said the fear was born out of the recent happenings in the party, that is the same fake ticket in one of the major political parties in Nigeria, despite the caution raised by Khan since two years ago. Right Honorable Idris Wasi, Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, says no government has touched the lives of ordinary citizens as that of all progressives Congress APC. Wasi spoke on Wednesday when he received a delegation from the Asua Duboa Tinibu Harvard Abad Support Group at the National Assembly in Abuja. While on the foreign scene, President Joe Biden and his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping held a lengthy and candid discussion about Taiwan on Thursday as tensions mount between Washington and Belgium. Despite Biden's one-time hope of stabilizing the world's most important country to country, relationship. While in sports, Lister City defender Ashley Pomper is delighted with her achievement with Nigeria since making her debut for the West Africans. Formerly an England Youth International, Pomper made her senior Nigeria debut in February 2022. The 24-year-old helped the Super Falcons qualify for the 2022 African Women's Cup of Nations in Morocco. And this brings us to the end of the news at 8. But before we go, we can find into headlines. Abia government to partner Abai Chamber of Current on international safety. Another NSAF may consume fleet, AIG 1. Replicates ICNP success in 2023 general elections, PDP charges INEC. These and many more to some platforms that come to www.avntv.com.ng. And you can also follow us on all social media platforms being displayed on your screen. I am Grace Locas, you can talk with the mic, rest be safe.